Legs up. And they're off and racing. Decent break for our third race of the afternoon. La Soul is being pushed into an early position by Wigberto Ramos and is one of the early leaders. Also up there, Varden with the orange sleeves and Tahiyati showing plenty of early speed as they approach their first turn. So Tahiyati's yellow sleeves leads by a length and a half to La Fasol in second position. Uh, in third, the orange sleeves of Varden and up on the outside is Survivalist. These are the first four. Uh, the grey right against the running rail, Sultan Star looking for a way through. So too is Tamadar, the white stable runner, no better than sixth place. Uh, Innubliable under Mohammed Aldaham is next in the field, although having to go wide uh, around this crown of the bend. Uh, being pushed along for a few strides is Mutanami, so too is Alwa. And on the extreme left, uh, we have Shaham and Hassan, who are surely out of contention. So as they come into the home straight then with 300 metres left to go and Varden is up ahead for Farhead al Faredi, but being challenged all the time by Tamadar who's coming down the centre of the course in Nublia Ball comes next in third and then a distant Alwar in fourth but it's a two-way go for the lead here as Varden is clinging on on the far side to Tamadar. Varden and Tamahar, they will finish in that order. Varden beats Tamadar in race number three. 11 beat number 18 it was close but Varden just did about enough to score it clearly seems to suit front runners this track the oh. early stages of this season Varden is the winner for Farhead al Faridi, beating Rayan Alta Ersh on Tamadar we'll wrap up third fourth and fifth in just a moment but Varden has won in 120 flat